Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, whenever you're watching. Uh, we're Joshua and Brittany Cole, and we are here uh, to just encourage you today. Uh, whether you are new to your faith or you've been serving God for a long time, it is very likely that the debris of life has become significant. Uh, and if you're like me, the cares of the people you really love, the things that are going on, there's so many voices. I mean, a lot of times those cares and fears can get in the way between us and God. So this morning as we prepare to break bread and uh, commune with God, I want to encourage you, we want to encourage you this morning to cast those cares on God because he cares for you. Uh, in Psalms 34 and 4, it says, um, I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all of my fears. So we just want you to know that if you seek the Lord in this time of seeking over these days, if you give your cares, everything that has been on your heart, everything you've experienced to God, he'll deliver you from those fears. And then you can really unlock the power of what God wants to do for you because we know he has plans for us. So we wanna encourage you this morning to cast your cares on him so that that won't get in the way of your ability to hear from God, to be led by God, and to experience the wonder of his presence. So first we're gonna take the bread, and the bread symbolizes the bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life, he's our living word. So God, we thank you for the bread of life. We thank you for uh, giving us your son, Jesus. We just thank you, God, for what uh, you allowed to happen on this earth through him. So let's take our bread. All right, so next we have the cup. And whatever yours is filled with, um, this symbolizes the blood. And it's amazing when you think about in the Old Testament, they had to use a lamb that they slaughtered, they killed. But they blood, the blood that was left from the lamb, they put it on the doorpost. So that when the Lord passed through, their homes were saved. Well, we don't have to do that. Jesus died on the cross and he shed his blood for us that we may live and have everlasting life. So now we're going to take this, this cup that symbolizes the blood of Jesus. So God, we thank you for your blood. We thank you for sending your son so that he could die on the cross. He shed his blood that we may, uh, that we may be set free, that we may live. We thank you for healing that happens through the blood. We thank you for the blood that also washes away our sins. In Jesus' name, let us drink. And as you go into the rest of your day, we just want to pray a prayer uh, to wrap it up. Um, as you're taking these days to seek God, we're really standing in agreement with you all that God is going to do a miraculous work in whatever area that you need. Um, and not just getting things from God, but it's an awesome opportunity to just love on him and commune and enjoy all that God has for us when we are close to him, when we seek him. So, Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity to put you first, to seek you in all of our ways, God, to be connected to what you've done on the cross that covered all. There's nothing missing. There's nothing else we have to do except to be focused on all that you are for us, God. So we just come to you praying for every need, every person in our body of Christ, God, right now, that you would just saturate their homes, their living rooms, God, with your presence. Touch those who may be, may be by themselves, God, parents, children. Lord, we just pray that you enter into homes, God, and fulfill every need. That as we seek you, that you hear us, God. You know the desires of our heart. Your plans are better than what we could ever imagine, Lord. So we just pray that as we draw close to you, that you fill everything that we need. And we thank you for being a great father and for having our best interests in mind, God, and knowing the plans that you have for us, Lord. We just love you. And God, we thank you, God, for this opportunity of communion, to have the opportunity to remember what was done for us. We just thank you, God, for every representation that we have uh, that you've given us, uh, whether, it's, whether it's the bread, whether it's the cup, God. We just thank you, God, because it symbolizes who Jesus is to us, and we do it in remembrance of him. So we just thank you, God, for healing that takes place because of the blood. We thank you for uh, people's lives being set free because of the blood, God. We thank you, God, that we don't have to worry about how things were done in the Old Testament, but we can live our life freely because you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die on, our, die on the cross. 
So we just thank you, God, for everlasting life and internal, eternal communion we have with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Have a great day.